Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for March 31st. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, March 31st, 1917, the U.S. took possession of the Danish West Indies. Renamed the Virgin Islands, this chain of islands in the Caribbean Sea consists of St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John, and about 50 other small islands. The U.S. purchased the islands for $25 million. The Virgin Islands have become a major destination for Americans searching for fun in the sun. Also, on this day in 1923, the first U.S. dance marathon was held in New York City. Dance marathons sometimes lasted for weeks. They became extremely popular during the Depression years, those were the 1920s and 30s, as many out-of-work people would compete for money and prizes. And on this day in 1927, Cesar Chavez, a Mexican-American labor activist and leader of the United Farm Workers, was born. He was a leading voice for migrant farm workers, those are people who move from place to place in order to find work. He focused national attention on these laborers' terrible working conditions, which eventually led to improvements. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, piece of cake. Now, if something is a piece of cake, it means that it's very easy to do. You might say, for some people, running five miles is a piece of cake. For others, it's very hard. Now, the saying may have come from a dance called the cakewalk, which was done by African Americans in the mid-1800s. At dance competitions, the best cakewalk dancer won a cake. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the newest planet found in our solar system? The answer is Eris. Eris is actually known as a dwarf planet. It was found in 2003, but scientists did not realize how big it was until 2005. In April of 2006, the Hubble telescope helped scientists to learn that Eris was actually larger than Pluto. Health tips. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Viruses are the smallest kind of germs. They're so small, they can't even be seen with an ordinary microscope. And there are very few medicines that can help your body fight viruses. If viruses attack, your body must depend upon itself. Now, the better you take care of yourself, the better your body will be able to prevent viruses from making you sick in the first place. And if you do get sick, the better you take care of yourself, the faster you'll get well. The U.S. Constitution was written and then signed on September 17, 1787 in the Pennsylvania State House in Philadelphia. This was also the place where George Washington received his commission as commander of the Continental Army in 1775 during the American Revolution. This is also where the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776. The Articles of Confederation were ratified here in 1781. Now, the Pennsylvania State House is called Independence Hall. The building still stands today on Independence Mall in downtown Philadelphia. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>